Israel has permanently lost the argument. I'm sorry if this makes me an evil, terrorist-loving, baby-raping, sieg-heiling Nazi, but in my humble opinion, genocidal massacres are bad. Israel and its allies get away with a lot by marketing this as a war. It's not a war. Israel launches high-tech military explosives at civilian buildings in a huge concentration camp while Hamas fires back with glorified fireworks which do light property damage. That's not a war. It's a massacre. I was upset when I saw that Israel has killed 7,000 people in its Gaza bombing campaign, but then a really smart Israel apologist told me that Hamas might be exaggerating those numbers, and maybe it's more like 4,000, so now I think it's fine. What kind of drooling, knuckle-dragging, tapioca-brained moron can look at the satellite images of the damage caused by Israeli airstrikes and believe Gaza is lying about its death toll? Israel-Palestine is a very complicated, confusing, highly nuanced debate between those who think murdering thousands of children is fine and those who do not. This is a very complicated genocidal massacre. Most complicated genocidal massacre in the history of genocidal massacres. There's two sides to this genocidal massacre. This genocidal massacre requires nuance. Look, it's very simple. If your words say, we're not targeting civilians, we're targeting Hamas, but your actions say you're inflicting siege warfare on the civilian population and carpet bombing entire city blocks into rubble, then you're not really targeting Hamas. Normal person. Israel is killing children by the thousands as we speak. Crazy person. Why aren't you condemning Hamas? Israel apologists are the worst. The absolute worst. I've sparred with countless political factions over the years, and I've never encountered a group so profoundly morally bankrupt and psychologically malformed. They're so awful that their apologia actually hurts Israel's image. Nothing will reassure you of your moral correctness of your opposition to Israel faster than interacting with Israel apologists online. It keeps surprising me that Israel apologists still expect to be taken seriously. Israel is massacring children by the thousands and turning Gaza into rubble, and they still expect you to listen to them receptively when they defend its actions. It's actually starting to get morbidly fascinating. In the old days, murderous thugs just grabbed whatever land they wanted and killed anyone who tried to stop them. That still happens today, too, but now the thugs have to make up liberal-sounding, sympathy-pulling justifications for it, like spreading freedom and democracy, or Israel has a right to defend itself. I cannot adequately express the immensity of my respect for the many, many, many Jewish voices I've seen taking a firm and forceful stand against the Gaza massacre. I'm just over here getting yelled at by strangers online, and I find it pretty intense. You're having much harder arguments with family, with friends, with people you've known your whole lives about an issue that's a lot more personal for you. You're out there protesting, taking action, and moving the needle, typically with far more skill and incisiveness than anyone else in the world. Big, big, big-hearted love to all of you. You amaze me. Israel has lost the argument. Permanently. There's no coming back from this.